Hi, this is Scott the Peaceful Shaver. So I wanted to make a video today with some of my favorite things. Happy Sunday to you. So the Patriots are playing at one o'clock. It's going to be their last game without Tom Brady. Uh, they've used uh, Garoppolo and they've used Brissett so far and Brissett's going to be playing today and they're 3-0. And I predicted before the season started uh, that with Brady missing four games uh, that they were going to go three and one. And I didn't think uh, I didn't think I had to worry about the Buffalo game. I thought it was one of the other games that they were going to lose. Um, and I'm not too worried about Buffalo, uh, particularly with um, uh, Belichick having ten days to prepare for this game, having played last Thursday. Um, I don't think there's any way they lose to Buffalo. So losing Brady for four games and going 4-0, he's going to come back so motivated and so angry. And um, he'll be four games healthier uh, and fresher than he would have been. And so I think he's really going to have, he's really going to have something to prove. So I could definitely see the Patriots running the table this year. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, also, today is um, the great David Ortiz's last regular season game. Um, they've been having a celebration for him um, basically all season. Um, all of the other ballparks have been doing something for Ortiz. And these three days here in Boston, these, this final series um, of the season against Toronto, um, huge celebrations every single day where they're choosing a different aspect. Um, of, his, of, of David Ortiz, uh, the ball player David Ortiz uh, in Boston, what he's meant uh, around the world, uh, back home in the Dominican um, for children. Um, just, he's a, he's a terrific man, uh, great ball player, obviously, the greatest DH that ever lived. Uh, sorry, Edgar Martinez, but uh, they should rename that award. Uh, and the greatest clutch hitter of all time, um, in my opinion. So the Red Sox uh, still fighting uh, to see uh, where the seeding is going to be as far as home and away. Um, Texas got the top seed in the American League. Uh, they'll play the wild card winner and we're going to play Cleveland. Um, it's still to be determined uh, where the seeding is as far as home and away. But uh, so the Red Sox are gearing up for the postseason. The Patriots are in full swing. Brady coming back next week. And I decided I'm going to shave with some of my favorite stuff today. So I just showered for soap. I'm going to be using Katie's Bubbles for Fouet L'Orange, which I love citrus, but to me, this is a more of a fall scent because it's a spicy citrus. It's a mandarin and a bergamot. And it's got that spice in it that to me reminds me of uh, the fall. It smells like Thanksgiving. I'm using my favorite brush, um, my favorite brush of all time, which is the Samoa 1305. Um, I love bore brushes and, you know, I, I like the look of the undyed bore better than the dyed bore, but I'm not exactly sure what kind of process Samoge uses when they dye their when they dye their bore brushes, but something that they do changes the bristles. And the skin feeling of the bore bristles that have been dyed by Samoge are better than the feeling of the undyed bore. You know, I like the undyed natural bore as far as the look, but the performance and the skin feel and the softness of the dyed bore is unbeatable. So I love my I love my 1305. I think it's a beautiful brush. I know a lot of you out there think it's ugly. I saw one video, I uh, can't remember who it was. It was, I think it was Busta who said that, uh, that he thinks it's an ugly brush. And, I don't quite understand that, but I think it's a beautiful brush. I also have the uh, the 1305 with the undyed bore um, that is the Italian Barber um, limited edition. 
with the Italian flag colors on it, which is, to me, one of my most beautiful brushes. And it just doesn't perform as well as this brush does. So, for my blade, excuse me, I'm out of the shot here. I'm using my favorite blade, which you all know. Voshod, and there it is in Russian on the other side. And for my razor, this is uh, OC October, so I was going to use an open comb every day um, this month, but you know what? I've just really, really fallen in love with this razor, so I decided to use it again today. It's become one of my favorites, and that is I always feel like somebody's watching me. The Rockwell. If you're from the 80s, you know what that reference is in regards to. So this is the Rockwell 6S. And I'll be using it the number three setting with my Vos Voshod blade. Um, with this razor, I have been switching around the plates. I started with six, I moved to one, I changed to three, I've used it for my head, or my wife has used it for my head. Um, and I just find it a really, really comfortable razor. And so far, I've only used Rockwell blades with it. I haven't used any other blades. So I decided I'm going to use my favorite blade, Voshod, and see how that goes, because I find these to be extremely smooth. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> I feel... It's almost like I'm shaving with nothing. It's almost like there's no blade in there. I've got... Honey, how many days of growth do I have? She said too many. What do you think, like three or four? Maybe more? Probably four, yeah. Four days of growth. Probably two days. And it's just, I, I just work late every night and I get home a mailman and I work, I work my eight hour shift. And my route is all walking, and I walk, on my route, I walk about 10 miles, which is like 20, 23,000 steps. My phone counts it for me. And then a lot of days, most days, I'll do a bump uh, of overtime on someone else's route, someone who may be sick that day or needs to be out early and they give off an hour or two of their route and I'll do an hour, an hour and a half on their route and I did that yesterday and I do it most days and uh, which means that I'm walking 12, 13 miles I get home and I'm, I'm tired um, and it's not just the walking it's the getting in and out of the truck is exhausting so Just give it a quick rinse here. So I um, I wake up early as it is. I wake up at 5.15 every morning to go to work and because uh, I like to be to work early and I like to relax, be, eat some breakfast before I go to work. And so I don't have time to shave in the morning. And then I get home and I'm too tired to shave in the afternoon. So I don't get to shave every single day which is really something I enjoy. It kind of bums me out a little bit, but I'm just too exhausted because I don't like to shave unless I've showered, which means now before I shave, I'm going to have to get in the shower again, prepare my face, and I just, I'm too exhausted because I want to, I want to cook. I enjoy cooking. I cook for my family and I want to cook. And I just, there's not enough hours in the day to do everything I want to do. So I put shaving off and I do it, you know, I spend my time shaving on my days off or 
when I haven't worked overtime in the afternoon, because uh, usually I shave in the afternoons. So, the combination of this razor and this blade really nice, really smooth. Um, I haven't tried the Rockwell blades in another razor beside the Rockwell yet. That's going to be something else I'm going to have to try. So this morning on YouTube, I saw that Chris Bailey posted a video about brush and soap and razor care. And one of his first points was about the soap that he advises that you never bloom your soaps. Um, he claims that blooming your soaps, even if you dry off your soaps afterwards, that the water stays in there and gets underneath and causes mold and problems and he doesn't see any benefit to it. Um, so I put up the question in the shave market about what's your opinion on blooming soaps? And, you know, after all, it's just soap. It's not that important. Um, I know Douglas Smythe is a big proponent of blooming. And he being a soap maker, I believe that he has some of the expertise um, that I, I respect and I respect his opinion. And the whole idea of blooming, for me it's twofold. Um, number one, and if you don't know what blooming is, basically, I, I don't submerge my puck of soap into the water because I think that's just overkill. I'll take some hot tap water, I'll just put it right on the top of the soap and let it sit on there for the five, 10 minutes that I'm in the shower. And basically what it does is just releases some of the scents makes it a little easier to load. Um, and, and, but basically it just releases, you know, some of the oils and some of the scent into the air. So it gives you a better overall experience. Um, you know, you can smell it while you're in the shower where otherwise you wouldn't have been able to, and you can anticipate that shave. And also I'll take the bloom water like Nick Shaves does. And he was one of the first that I saw do this. Uh, and use it as like a pre-shave. He'll take that bloom water and just put it right on his face. And I do that sometimes too. I don't tend to do that in the winter time because by the time I get out of the shower, the bloom water's cold and then I'm putting cold water on my face and I don't like to do that before my shave. I like to do it after my shave. Um, but, so it's twofold. It's the, the, the sensory, uh, the, the smells, uh, of the uh, of the shaving soap um, are heightened by blooming. It makes it easier to load. Um, I find that with a hard soap, certainly like a Mitchell's Wool Fat or any triple milled soap, uh, I really like the fine soaps, for instance, uh, or or tabac, um, that blooming certainly does ease. You know, help you load it. A lot of people have trouble loading. The Mitchells and blooming certainly is one way to make it easier to load. Um, I do not, for instance, I'm using Katie's bubbles today. I do not ever bloom Katie's bubbles. Um, it's a very soft soap and it certainly doesn't need um, any help in loading uh, by blooming. I gotta tell you this, this razor, I love the long handle uh, on this razor. I like long handled razors. I love the heft, I love the weight. Um, it's a gorgeous razor. And 
as disappointing as the first release of the Rockwell was with the machining problems, uh, this is a molded injection razor. Uh, you, uh, you know, the steel is mold, molded and in, injected. I'm not sure. <laughs> MIM is the process that they use to make it. Um, I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. Rather than fully machined, it is, the result is a gorgeous razor. a little bit to a little bit of touch up. I'm um, going over my in-laws house this afternoon to watch the Patriots game and watch the uh, some of the Red Sox games, certainly the pregame ceremony for Ortiz, which this is his last regular season home game. So the big ceremony. I'm expecting to see uh, Pedro Martinez, maybe Manny Ramirez, certainly Jason Veritek and Tim Wakefield and you know, I don't know who else they're going to bring out. Maybe they'll bring out Kyle Yastrzemski. He never played with him, but, you know, he's a Red Sox great. Um, and Ortiz is up there with, uh, you know, he never played the field. I mean, he did sometimes in National League Parks. He's had to play first base. And obviously in the World Series, he's played some first base. And he's held his own. He, he's, I don't ever remember him having a costly error in a game. He held his own at first base. But you know what? Since 1975 in the American League, DH is a is a position in baseball, and it's not Ortiz's fault that he doesn't play the field. He is a DH. So you know what? It's a position. So for me, he's not less of a player because he doesn't play in the field. Um. I would definitely say, I mean, the man has three World Series rings and he's working on a fourth. That, in my opinion, after Ted Williams, he's the second greatest offensive player in Red Sox history. You know, my childhood hero was Yaz, but hey, I got to be honest and be true. So. A little bit of clean up there. <laughs> Getting soap everywhere. You know what it is? I don't have my glasses on. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just a mess. So. So good shave. Really good shave. Um, I'm going to Going along with the orange theme, I'm going to use the fine L'Orange Noir aftershave. And um, before I do that, my wife's going to come in here. She's going to shave my head. So Patriots game today, Red Sox game later on. Going to see my family later on after that. Um, so great Sunday, great to be home. Um, my wife and I can spend some time because um, we both work really, really hard. But I just want to give props again to the Rockwell, the Rockwell success. Used it on three today. Awesome shave. Voshod blade uh, in it this time. Um, Voshod works great in this razor. I haven't found a razor yet that it doesn't work well in. And of course, the, um, the Smoke 1305 brush, Katie's Bubbles soaps. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Peaceful Shaver out.